Hey guys, it's Devloin here, back in with day 9 of the 31 days of Halloween and coming out of the shite storm that was that Tomb of Dracula figure. Today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Monsters box set, Werewolf by Night. And this is a much better figure. One glaring issue, which, you know what, I'm going to uh, just get right into it so we can cut to that. Uh, first off, here's his stand. And his stand's kind of weird because, uh, you know, the other stands we've looked at, they've been uh, more realistic. I mean, there's Frankenstein's, and then here, of course, is the Dracula one, which is actually better than the figure. Mwah, mwah. But, uh, yeah, Werewolf by Night, for some reason, got this old 70s-looking artwork on his. It's uh, a little bit inconsistent there, but, oh, well, it's just a stand. Not really plan on using it, but... The figure! One glaring issue. No freaking neck hinge. What? Now, it could just be stuck as hell. It could just be there's some extra stuff keeping it from moving up, which that could very much be the case. You know, if you shaved a little bit of his head here, you might be able to tilt his head up. Very much might be able to do so. But as it stands, it's constantly looking down, and that sucks, because he's a werewolf. What do werewolves do? What, what do they do, Ozzy? Bark at the moon. Yeah, he can't do that. <laughs> Son of a bitch, so close. So close. It's so far away. That's why Hasbro reuses the same body over and over, isn't it? They all look up. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's my only issue with this guy. And it freaking drives me up a wall, because this is an awesome figure otherwise. It's so good. It'll fit in your modern Marvel Legends because Werewolf by Night doesn't have to be a giant. Although I would prefer if they made him on that new jackal body from the uh, Sandman wave, Spider-Man Sandman, Sandman, Sandman wave. I don't... Come on, Hasbro, make a new Werewolf by Night. Please? Please? I want it so bad! Um... But nevertheless, getting into his articulation, pretty much just a swivel in the head, because the freaking hinge is useless, and it sucks. Uh, shoulders will move out a little bit. That's the other thing that kind of stinks on this guy. His shoulders are kind of a pain in the balls. Uh, they don't go down all the way. I'm not really sure why. I'm guessing it's because the hinge ain't cut out enough to where it can do that. And I don't think I have it up facing the wrong way. I think they just did not sculpt it right. Because his shoulder does not go in all the way. And there is like no constriction from the bicep and the, uh, well, whatever the hell that is right there. There's plenty of space. So, yeah. You can see it. My hand it's sticking out. But uh, of course he's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow, which gives you a Pretty good range. So what the wrist, hinge at the hand, hinge at the forefingers, take it or leave it. It kind of looks like crap, but it's there. Ab crunch moves forward a little bit, moves back a little bit. Waist swivel, pretty loose on mine. Woo, 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 woo. Better stop doing that. Uh, hips will move forward, and they're on a T joint. Yes, T jointed hips. I was getting sick of wide jointed hips. This guy's got T joints. Hot dog. They move out to the side. They move forward and back. Yada yada yada. Thigh cut. You don't want to hold this when you're moving the thigh cut, just so you don't put a lot of pressure on that pin holding the hip joint into the crotch. You don't know if that's gonna snap or not. Double jointed knee. Ooh, pinch myself. He does have a calf rotation. Very stiff, though. And he does have a hinge in the foot. A little teeny bit of rocker. I think there's a little bit more. Yeah, there's a little bit more on this side. And you got a hinge in the f toe. Almost said foot again. But that's a toe. 
stupid. Um, but yeah, this, this is a cool figure, but he's got one glaring issue, and that is the gosh darn head don't move up and down. Why? <sighs> I'm hoping, really hoping, because that Morbius movie's coming out next year, how they did with the Venom wave. They're going to do a bunch of monster characters for the Morbius wave. That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. They probably won't. They'll make more stupid Avengers crap no one wants. Like uh, boring ass snake men in sucky costumes. Here he is next to the Wolfman. I just noticed I pulled him out first when I should have probably pulled out jack o Lantern first. But you know what? I don't care. I'm hyped because this is so much better than that gosh darn drag out finger there you go there he is next to classic wolf man he's obviously shorter but that's okay because it's not really meant to go with those anyways but you can still fudge him in if you want here he is next to jack o lantern slowly leaning more and more back in every video he's a little bigger but he's got a pumpkin on his head that, and I think World by Night, you could fudge him into the modern scale. If you really, really wanted to. Just saying. But I'm uh, getting him back on his stand here. If I can locate the pig holes on his feet. I guess that's one. I guess that's another. White balance is a little trippy, but not as bad as it used to be. At least in the other videos. But yeah, I'm going to recommend this guy just because I don't know if Hasbro's going to remake him. Obviously, if they remake him, then that's probably going to be a little bit better of a figure. But uh, I still like this guy. I think he's cool. So, yeah. Short and sweet. Just the way you like it. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> well, that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of the 31 Days of Halloween. Stay tuned, because tomorrow we're going to look at the final figure in the Monsters box set. That, of course, being the living zombie. And until next time, catch you guys later with Day 10 of the 31 Days of Halloween. Ooh, werewolves in London. See, I, I changed it up for you. Probably still don't appreciate it. Frickin' angry.